So with doing so much on social media, the visual appearance of our pictures and graphics is so important. And so I want to show you a great program that I found that is that can be used for completely for free. Uh, it's web-based. It's also um, it has an app that you can also download from uh, for both uh, I believe both Android and Apple. And uh, it's Canva. So Canva.com, C-A-N-V-A dot com and uh, here this is the home page when you go to it you, you need to create an account and once you log in it takes you to this um, down below you have all of your projects you've worked on and then up top here they have some pre-selected formats for you to be able to utilize for different types of social media uh, they have a Facebook cover they have Instagram I know that they also have uh, they they have uh, Google Plus, they have uh, Pinterest, and, you know, other things loaded in in the more here. So, but for today's purpose, we're going to do a Facebook post, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, and it opens up a new window, and it's going to give me a new work area. It's also going to open up a new uh, tool tab uh, bar here that I want to go over just quickly. So first here for search. Search allows you to find a lot of different things for your uh, for your graphics or for whatever project it is that you're making. Now, um, grids allow you to uh, make collages. Frames allow you give you a decorative frame around a picture. Then you have shapes, which are ways for you to be able to add different shapes to your uh, to your project. Lines, obviously, you have illustrations and icons and then also charts, and then they have uh, little canvas stamps and things like that that you can add to your project uh, for advertising. Um, now, one thing I do want to let you know, I said that it can be utilized for free. There is an aspect of the program that um, you'll notice that on these, on these different shapes, they all mention free. Those can be utilized for free, but if you get down um, into uh, see if it will take us there on you know so those are all free still but it will get to a point where uh, they are no longer uh, being marked as free and it may take too long but what the what those are those are paid elements they're what they call premium elements and those premium elements when you download it it costs a dollar per premium element i've never had to use that feature between being able to download uh, from paparazzi and from the web and the free stuff on here, I've never had to utilize that. Then layouts. These are some pre-formatted uh, layouts, pictures, graphics, whatnot that you can just click on. Again, some are free, uh, some aren't. Like this one, actually, you'll notice, see, there's a dollar sign that shows over th right there. So that lets you know that that one is a premium uh, object. But you could click on this one, it'd be completely free. And then you just click on the text and you're able to change it text here. This allows you to be able to add text to your project and then you have pre-formatted uh, text uh, icons or, or graphics that you can just click on and then you can uh, add in your own text that you want to with that. Background will give you a colored or textured background to your project if you so choose. And then uploads is where you can upload your pictures from your computer and then you can utilize those for your project. So this is my Facebook post, and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to add text to it. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to click on my text tab, and I have three different size options. Each one is a different font, but you can change that. You can even change the size. But for this purpose, I'm going to click the biggest one here. And I'm going to do change it by having it highlighted and just type paparazzi. Let it pick up. Jewelry. Okay. Now I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. You'll notice that I have these dashed lines. Those dashed lines help me to find the exact center if I wanted to, or if I wanted to center it in the in the different way. So I'm going to center it right there. Now I, I'm also going to change the size of that paparazzi jewelry. And all I do is up here is my toolbar. Um, that allows me to do different things, which I'm going to cover right now. For size, I just click on the size here, and then I can go bigger. And then, uh, which you see, it made it bigger, and then I can re-put it back in the center. Then, 
now I want to change the font style. There are lots and lots of different font styles here in Canva and you know, lots to choose from. For today, I think we're going to use uh, the Cougarette. So I click on that and it automatically changes uh, the whole text. Now, for color, and this, this is the same process. You can use this for certain graphics or shapes that you bring in from Canva. Also the same with, uh, with the, the text. You click on the, the rainbow colored circle here, and by clicking on that, it brings you up a standard color uh, menu. And you're able to pick a color, and it will change your text that. Now, if, you don't, if, if there's a color not there that you want, then what you can do is you click the plus sign right there and it brings you up the whole color wheel. So you can either click on the different air, you know, a different area of the color wheel to change it, or there's also codes for different colors that you can get for all of the Pantone colors. There's codes you can uh, find on the internet. And then Paparazzi Pink even has one. So I'm going to show you Paparazzi Pink. It's EE008C. Um, right there. And then that also, once I've hit that in, then that also, not only does it change my text, but you also notice that it also adds that to my standard uh, colors that I'm going to be able to utilize later. You also notice that it's constantly saving my projects as I go along. So um, we, the other thing too here with my, um, my color bar or my my toolbar, I have uh, my delete. If I want to just get rid of the whole thing, I can just delete it. And then if I click the arrow down, it gives me some options for some more advanced things. Like I could change it all to uppercase. I can do alignment, which I'm just going to hit center and center it. I can also, um, you know, I could do it into a, a hyperlink, or I can also make it transparent so it can be seen through. Um, some of the other graphics and things here, you have the position in relation to other pictures or other parts of the graphic, whether you're moving it forward or backward, to be able to put things, uh, you know, layered on top of each other, or behind each other. So now the next thing I want to add to the project is a background. So I'm going to come over and click on the background tab. And you notice I have all these different ones that they have a pre-color selected. I'm going to do this circle pattern one here, but you know, that, that those colors clash. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go uh, paparazzi style and I'm going to change it to black. And there you'll see that we have, um, you know, it's changed the whole thing and then we are ready to move on. So now I want to go ahead and I'm going to add a graphic to the program. So um, I click on Upload. That's how I get um, my pictures. And when I upload, I'm going to upload my own image. So I click on Upload My Own Image, and it takes me automatically into my computer files. And so then you can click on wherever it is that you're wanting to go. It happened to open me up, open me up into my docs um, and then in, in my paparazzi folder with my logos. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up this logo right here. And what it does is then it will upload it and it drops it right into my bank of, of graphics I can utilize. One hint that I found, and I don't know if it's just my computer or if it's a program glitch, but it tends to freeze up if I click, if I try to download any more than two pictures at a time. So I highly recommend that you only uh, select two pictures at a time to do that. Now once my graphic is here that I want to use, then I'm going to click on it, and then all I do is drag it over into my workspace. I can drop it in, and now all I just need to do is size it. I can grab a corner and uh, resize it, and now I'm going to, when I get my four arrow uh, cross uh, cursor, then I can take this and I can move it, and you know I'm going to center it right there, give it some good spacing, and there we go. My graphic is done. So now that my graphic is done, I want to store it so I can be able to utilize it in a Facebook post or in a Facebook party or for advertising, or I could put it into a Word document or something like that that I'm working on to be able to uh, try to, to grow my team or, uh, or get hostesses. How I do that to download is all I have to do is click the download key right up here. I have two different options. I can download it as an image or a high quality PDF. I always do as an image um, because that's how I, I'm going to be utilizing it. You notice, also notice down here there's an options 
uh, arrow drop down. If I click on that, it gives me a few options. It can say all of my pages, or it gives me pages in a range. Um, so going back to my workspace here, you'll notice that this is page one, and down here it says add a new page. I can add a new page, and it brings up a new page for me to then be able to continue to work on. And then um, I can decide to download all of the images, and it will make it into a zip file, which I then have to click and download all the images I want, or I can just download it one image at a time. I'm just going to do one image at a time right now, so I'm going to, well, I'll leave this up, but so if it was just one image, then I would cl just click right there and be ready to go. But I only want page one, so I just click right here and I hit one, and now I click as an image. And you notice it's, it, you know, it's preparing it. You notice right up here that it, you know, it tells you that the premium elements that are a dollar a piece and you have 24 hours to edit your design once you purchase them. But again, I haven't had to do that. Now, um, you'll notice that something's happening right down here. The, uh, it's, the uh, graphic is downloading to my computer. Now, just so you know, each computer is going to look different. I'm running Windows 8.1, and I'm also in Google Chrome as a browser. Uh, if you're in a different browser or doing a different operating system, it, it may look different uh, than mine, but the principles are still the same. So when this comes up, I'm going to click on the arrow here, and I want to show it in the folder. It's going to show me where it's located so I'm not having to dig through the file cabinet. And you notice that it brings it up in my downloads. Now all I need to do is – I actually have that double name, so I'm going to change this um, to uh, Paparazzi Jewelry uh, $5. Okay. Um, so now um, I have it there. All I have to do to take it out of the download file and save it wherever I want is by clicking on it and dragging it over. You'll see that I have my paparazzi folder already open, and so then I'm going to take it down and I'm going to drop it right into my miscellaneous graphics. And if I open that up, you will notice that my project is right there. So. That is one, um, that is you know, how to make a simple graphic, the basic principles of how to utilize the program, and how to download it and be able to utilize uh, that graphic. Now, another thing that is really cool about this program that I utilize all the time, and I'm going to go back to my home page here, is um, we've you know, we've noticed, and, and hopefully you've noticed, but the more work that we ask our customers to do, the less likely they are to go through the process in order to be to, to purchase or to join or do whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and so, um, the Facebook, you know, on a post, you can um, you can utilize, uh, you can post multiple pictures if you are doing it manually. But then they have to look through all those pictures, you know, of a set uh, or like a fashion fix. Uh, or if you're using a automatic sharing program, something like CinchShare, you can only do one a minute. Instead of bombarding them with four pictures, you know, in a minute, which can put you in Facebook jail, Canva has a super easy way to utilize this. So, again, I'm going to be making a Facebook post. I click on that. It opens up a new, a new tab for me. And we're going to go to our search option, and this is where we're going to use the grids option. I click on the grids, and it these are preset up formats that all I have to do is drop and drag my pictures right into them. They're super easy uh, to utilize and um, to work with. So I'm going to pick this one, uh, and all I do is I click on it, and it drops it in. Now, where each of these uh, landscapes is, that is where I'm going to put a picture. So now, for me to be able to do that, I need to go to my uploads. I already have some, um, some downloaded into this um, from this month's Fashion Fix. So I am going to just go ahead and we're just going to do the, the Glimpses of Malibu set, the lovely uh, School of Blue set from this month. So I'm going to take my necklace, and all I do is then move it over it, and then it automatically kind of puts it in place, and then I just let go, and it's there. 
Now, it's not perfectly centered, but I can change that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the other pieces right now. Um, here is the bracelet, which I'm going to uh, put right there. And then, uh, let's see, oh, here's the earrings, which I'll put right there. And then here's the ring, which hopefully will fit right there. Okay. Now, you'll notice, like, the ring is not a very good you know, placement. What I can do with that is this program, if I click on the picture, it gives me a crop option. Normally, cropping is just making it smaller, but this is all any type of, a, of adjustment to it. So if I hit crop here, now I could make it bigger if I want uh, by grabbing a corner and dragging it, but I think it's a fine size. All I have to do is take, grab it and move it down so it's centered, and then I can either reject what I just did and it will take it back to where it was, or I can accept by hitting the check mark just like that. Now, uh, I want to make the earrings bigger, so I click on that. Again, I click crop. It will bring it up. Then I just grab a corner. I make it as big as I want it. Then I can move it, center it, and then I hit uh, check. Bracelet looks pretty good, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, change this just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, and then move it up just a teeny bit so you can see all the fringe, center it, and there you go. So now you have an easy collage that is just taking me about a minute to do, and uh, I can post it once, and they'll be able to uh, buy each of the individual pieces or you can upsell them the whole piece, the whole set straight in front of them. Some people like to put letters, which you can do by just uh, entering and putting a text box in each area. But when it comes to sets like this that are, there's different pieces or they're different colors, I don't think it's necessary. And I can just tell my customers to put sold necklace, sold bracelets, or sold whole set uh, when they're buying it. Um, to, to save this, I go through the same, or to download it, I go through the same exact process I showed you earlier. And now you have an easy uh, way to not only uh, be able to uh, not have the customers do as much work, but I have also posted four pieces in front of them in one post, which I'm now able, the more I put in front of customers, the more they're going to buy. So this should also hopefully help to increase uh, your sales uh, especially for those who are using um, you know, automatic uh, uh, programs to be able to post this. So um, I hope this has helped. Um, I, you know, this, I use this program extensively uh, for everything I do graphically, and it has uh, helped me to be able to, uh, for those uh, customers who are visual, who want to be able to see things better and uh, really catch their eye, um, this program is, is a great thing, a free resource, and will help to help you to uh, build your business and to um, and increase your sales. Have a great day.